Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 2. The question reads, at time t equals 0, a particle had a speed of 20 meters per second in the positive x direction. At time t equal 2.5 seconds, its speed was 40 meter per second in the opposite direction. Find the average acceleration of the particle during the 2.5 second interval. So I have two situations or two conditions for the particle. One is at time equal zero and the speed V initial or V1 equals 20 meters per second. So it's in the positive direction. And later on at T equal two and a half seconds, the velocity of this particle has an opposite direction and its value is V, final is minus 40 meters per second. And the question is asking for what is the average acceleration for this trip between 0 and 2.5 seconds. By definition, the definition of average acceleration equals delta V, change in velocity divided by change in time or the period of time. So it is V final minus V initial divided by T final minus T initial. So V final is the minus 40 and I here need to substitute with a negative sign because it indicates a reversal in direction. So it is minus 40 minus plus 20. This is basically the initial velocity divided by 2.5 seconds minus 0. So minus 40 minus 20 is minus 60 divided by 2.5, which means minus 24 meter per second squared, which is the unit of acceleration. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 2. The question reads, a car travels in a straight line. First, it starts from rest at point A and accelerates at a rate of 5 meter per second squares until it reaches a speed of 100 meters per second at B. The car then slows down at a constant rate of 8 meters per second squares until it stops at point C. Find the time the car takes for this trip from A to C. Here a simple sketch will simplify the question. So I have a car traveling in a straight line from point A and the velocity, initial velocity at A was zero. Then it reaches point B and it reaches the point B with a velocity V at B equals 100 meters per second and it, during this stage it accelerates as the question said with a rate of 5 meters per second squares and it's positive means it's gaining speed it's accelerating and then after reaching point B with 100 meters per second it again lose uh, uh, speed until it arrives to point C and at point C, the V at C will be equal zero. So it will be decelerating at a rate of eight meters per second square. Decelerating means negative or acceleration means it's uh, slowing down. So the question asks for the time for the car, the car takes for this trip from A to C. In order to find the time, so the time from A to C or total time, should equal time from A to B. So first I will find the time during the stage. Then I will find the time for this stage. Plus the time from B to C. Now the reason I cannot include the, this stage from A to C in one trip because I don't have a constant acceleration. I have acceleration here in this stage constant and I have acceleration from B to C constant. But the acceleration from A to C is not constant. It, it was 5 and then minus 8. So I cannot use 
a equation of motion for the whole stage at once. So I need to break the problem or the question into two stages. So in the first stage, the most appropriate equation of motion to use is basically I don't have distance. So the most appropriate equation will be V final equal V initial plus A T. The reason I have the initial and final velocities at A and B and I have even the acceleration. So I can get the only unknown, which is time. So from A to B, then V final will be V at B equals V initial at A, which equals zero plus the acceleration from A to B, which is five multiplied by T. And the velocity at B is 100 meters per second. So it's equal five T, so then I divide 100 by 5, so T from A to B equals 100 divided by 5, which is 20 seconds. So I found the time for the trip of the car from A to B. Then I do the same thing, and I have the initial velocity and the final velocity. Now, the final velocity at B at the first stage will become the initial velocity for the second stage. So from B to C, velocity at C, this is the final, should equal velocity at B plus A multiplied by the time from B to C. So velocity at C is zero. Velocity at B is 100 meters per second plus the acceleration for this stage from B to C is minus 8. It is decelerating meters per second squares multiplied by the time from B to C, which is the unknown I need to find. So I can take this to the other side to make it positive. So this will give that 8 T B to C should equal 100 so the time from B to C should equal 100 divided by 8 which is 12.5 seconds now I can combine the two answers together to get the total time of the trip so T from A to C which is T total is T from A to B plus T from B to C and for the first stage, it's 20 seconds. Plus the second stage, it is 12.5 seconds, which equals 20 plus 12.5 is 32.5 seconds. This will conclude the answer. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Today we're solving questions from chapter 2. The question reads, a parachutist jumps from an airplane at an altitude of 510 to power 3 meters. He falls with an acceleration g equal 9.8 meters per second squared for the first 10 seconds. Then he opens his parachute and falls with a net vertical upward acceleration of 50 meters per second squares until his downward speed reaches 20 meters per second. How far does he fall vertically downward when his net upward acceleration was 50 meters per second squares? A simple sketch will simplify the question. So we have the ground level and we have an airplane. And a man jumps from this airplane, a parachutist. And then the height of the initial jump is 5, 10 to power 3. But then the initial velocity is zero. So basically the question reads, he falls with an acceleration g 9.8 meter per second squares. So then the man falls for 10 seconds and then he opens his parachute and falls again. And during when he opens his parachute, the acceleration in this stage is a plus 50 meters per second squares. Then he falls 
with a downward until he reaches a downward velocity v final here of minus 20 meters per second so we need to find the distance when the man opens his parachute until he reaches the velocity of 20 me minus 20 meters per second so in order to do so i can utilize the information of the initial stage from zero after 10 seconds to find the man's velocity when he opens the parachute and then i can use it uh, plug it into another equation of motion to find the distance the man falls after he opened his parachute so to do so the most appropriate equation to use will be v final equal v initial plus or because it's free falling minus gt so during this stage it's falling under gravity which means a constant acceleration of minus 9.8 meter per second squares and in this stage it's also constant acceleration of 50 meters per second squares but i cannot use from this point to this point because i don't have constant acceleration i have to break the question into two stages so in the first stage from jump to opening parachute then v final is unknown v initial is zero minus 9.8 and the time taken in the question is 10 seconds so i have minus 98 meters per second this is the speed of this man here Now, to find the distance between the beginning of opening his parachute until he reaches a downward velocity of 20 meter per second, I can use this as initial velocity and I can use this speed or velocity as final velocity. And also, I know the acceleration is positive, which is 50 meters per second. So, I can use another equation of motion. So, from opening parachute till reaching minus 20 meters per second I can use that V final square V initial square plus 2a y minus y naught and V final square is minus 20 square and v initial is the initial velocity for this stage is minus 98 squares plus 2 and the acceleration for this stage after he opened the parachute is 50 meters per second squares and the y minus y0 if we take this as the y0 then when he falls down it is a negative distance so it is minus h because the initial will be zero the initial will be zero so the y will be lower than zero so it will be a negative distance so if we substitute for this the only unknown is h so we can take this as minus 20 squares minus 98 squares equals minus 100 h so this will gives me that h will equals 92.04 meters so the man falls 92.04 under this acceleration downward below the point of relief of opening the parachute thank you very much